Your Pixel Watch and Fitbit got improved sleep tracking about two months ago and you probably didn't even notice. Well, maybe you actually did because some people did notice and the response to the announcement wasn't universally positive. Some of you felt like the sleep tracking actually got worse. So I put it to the test by comparing the sleep tracking of two Pixel watches to a scientific EEG headband that was specifically designed for sleep stage tracking. That way we can test if at least on me, the sleep tracking has improved with this update, which could bode very well for the soon to be released Pixel Watch 4. By the way, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Rob and I'm a postdoctoral scientist specializing in biological data analysis. And let's dive right into the results. So here are the results for the 45 millimeter version of the Pixel Watch 3. The results were actually almost identical for the 41 millimeter version I wore at the same time. So I'm gonna use this one as the main result and I'm gonna briefly show you the 41 millimeter results later. However, both have very good results. So what do you see here? Well, on top we have the sleep stages as detected by the reference EEG device. And on the left, we have the sleep stages as detected by the Pixel Watch 3. Now each column here is normalized to 100%, meaning that we can see what percentage of each of the sleep stages according to the reference device was detected as each sleep stage by the Pixel Watch 3. And if they would perfectly agree, all these values in yellow right here should be 100%. Now, first of all, we see that about 86% of what was deep sleep according to the reference device was also detected as deep sleep by the Pixel Watch 3, which is really good. And any confusion that there was, was detected as light sleep instead. By the way, these are the results for a total of six nights of data. And since I have two Pixel watches that I wore at the same time, in total we have 12 nights of data to work with. And overall this actually looks really good. Now light sleep agreement was slightly lower at about 77%, but still pretty good and most confusion was with deep sleep. So overall the Pixel Watch did tend to detect a little bit more deep sleep than my reference device, but not by a crazy amount. And what is most impressive actually is that the REM sleep detection was very good. So the REM sleep agreement was also about 77% and this is the sleep stage that most watches struggle with. So for some reason for many devices REM sleep is just a very hard sleep stage to detect Whereas for something like an EEG device, it's super easy because you can also detect eye movements with EEG. And these eye movements are very clear during REM sleep because you have rapid eye movement a lot of the time. So this 77% agreement is actually really good. Now, most confusion in this case was with light sleep. And interestingly, there's no confusion with deep sleep. So overall, we can see that any confusion of deep sleep with other sleep stages is with light sleep. Also the other way around, most light sleep, if there is any confusion, is confused with deep sleep, but never any REM sleep as detected by the EEG device is detected as deep sleep instead. So that's also pretty good. I'll now quickly show you the results for the 41 millimeter version, and then we'll take a look at some individual nights. And these are those results. So this is the result for the 41 millimeter version of the Pixel Watch, which I wore during the same night. Again, deep sleep agreement is the best in the mid 80%, then light sleep agreement is a bit worse at about 77%, so very similar. And also for deep sleep, any confusion is with light sleep. And then REM sleep agreement is still pretty good, a few percentage points lower, but this is just by random chance, I suspect. And almost all confusion was with light sleep. Here there was about 2% of what was deep sleep according to the reference being detected as REM sleep by the Pixel Watch 3 but that's really a small amount. So overall, basically the same result for both of the models that I wore. And this is actually really good if we compare it to the competition. But before comparing it to the competition, let's take a look at some of the individual nights. So here we have one of the nights that I wanted to show you with on top the sleep stages as detected by the EEG device and on the bottom the sleep stages as detected by the 45 millimeter version of the Pixel Watch 3 where the deep sleep as detected by the EEG device is marked in purple in both of the graphs. And as you can see overall, there's just a very good agreement. Almost all of the deep sleep as detected by the EEG device was also detected by the Pixel Watch 3. In this case, just a little bit less was actually detected. 
Now you'll notice a lot of these short awake moments according to the EEG device. Now these are actually not full awake moments, I actually should ignore these. So this is also why we're not looking at that awake time in the overview graph, just because of these short arousals weren't full awake moments. So I don't want to focus on those. So that's sort of a limitation of the reference device. But here you can already see that the deep sleep agreement looks pretty good. And for this second night right here, we also see pretty good agreement. I would say there's basically two main deep sleep segments here in the beginning. And both of these were also detected by the Pixel Watch 3. And I actually wonder if this deep sleep segment right here should have been a bit longer. It still matches somewhat with the Pixel Watch 3. But here I actually even have some doubts about the reference device. Overall, a really good result. But let's now take a look at the REM sleep detection. Now the REM sleep as detected by the EEG device is now marked in red. And you can see an almost perfect agreement between the EEG device and the Pixel Watch 3. So looking really good. And also for this second night, we see mostly really good agreement. Even this very short segment right here matches quite well. So here in the beginning, I often have a very short REM sleep segment, or sometimes it's even almost completely missing for my particular sleep phenotype. And the Pixel Watch 3 was able to detect this almost perfectly correctly. So a very short REM sleep segment right here. Only here near the end of the night where I was alternating between being awake and a bit asleep again, that's where the Pixel Watch 3 struggled a little bit. And it detected a moment of awake time, but not that extra REM sleep. But otherwise really good. And this is actually close to the performance or even equal to the performance of the Apple Watch, which is generally one of the best sleep stage trackers out there. Let me show you. And here we have that overview where the better the agreement with the reference device, the more to the top right devices are. So along the horizontal axis, we have the average agreement over the three sleep stages. And along the vertical axis, we have the agreement out of the worst of those three sleep stages. And the new results for the Pixel Watch 3 are right here. So I just put the 45 millimeter version as an example here, but the 41 millimeter version is very close. And you can see that now the Pixel Watch 3 is among some of the best performers. And we have the old results for different Pixel Watches and Fitbit devices, all of which use this same algorithm right here. So they were sort of second tier before. We have the Pixel Watch 2, the Pixel Watch 3. Likely the real average performance is somewhere in the middle of that where all these Fitbit devices are. And you can see that now the performance of the Pixel Watch 3 is a lot better. Before, I would always say there were four top brands. The Apple Watch, the 8 Sleep Pod, which is actually my favorite sleep improvement device because it can actively heat and cool each side of the bed which in summer is great for cooling down or in winter is nice for having a correctly temperatured bed. And you can do it independently for you and your partner. So if your partner sleeps hotter or cooler than you, you can actually set that temperature for you specifically, which is great. And it's been a godsend for my sleep quality, but it is really expensive. So if you want the best discount possible on an eight sleep pod, you can use my affiliate link up here or down here and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Now, another really good brand is the Aura Ring, so that's number three. And the number four was Sleep2 or Nuqua, which is an app developed by the University of Salzburg for sleep stage tracking. And all of these were doing really well. And Fitbit and Whoop were sort of in the second tier of devices. However, now with the new sleep stage tracking algorithm of the Pixel Watch, it appears that they've managed to go into the first tier of sleep stage tracking. So doing about as well as the Apple Watch. So they're now more or less doing about equally well. And I think that's really impressive and really good that Google invested the money to actually improve the sleep stage tracking. And I'm really happy with that. And I'm also really excited to see if the Pixel Watch 4 has similar performance. I should be receiving my testing units quite soon. So then we'll see if the GPS tracking, heart rate tracking, and also the sleep stage tracking is any good on that new Google Watch. However, already the Pixel Watch 3 is doing really well, as you can see right here. I'm actually also working on an updated Whoop Strap review that's coming soon as well. And then we'll put the Whoopstrap MG also in this overview right here. However, if you own a Pixel Watch or a Fitbit, you're likely already getting improved sleep stage tracking. I don't know about you, but I'm really happy with that performance. And Google now seems to have similar quality sleep tracking to Apple. This means that if we combine that with the good heart rate tracking of the Pixel Watch, there's now a real Android contender for the Apple Watch. And with the new Pixel Watch 4 potentially also having better GPS tracking now with dual band GPS, this would be even more true. Now there are two important things we still need to 
discuss. First of all, will you get the same improvements with older Pixel watches or with Fitbit devices? Well, theoretically, yes. If the input data is of sufficient quality, with that I mean if the nighttime measurements that they take are good enough, then the sleep stage tracking algorithm should give similar results no matter what device you use. And generally, I would say that measuring things during the night is relatively easy because you don't move that much and most devices do a pretty decent job. That being said, it seems that there were some anecdotal reports of people getting weird sleep tracking results with their Fitbits. Now, I'm not sure if that is due to the quality of a Fitbit or due to their particular physiology. And these are just anecdotes, of course. And it also brings me to my second point. In my testing, I see that on me at least, the sleep stage tracking is significantly improved, but of course this will likely not be true for everyone universally. I suspect though that for the majority of people you will get better sleep stage tracking now, however for some of you the algorithm will not work quite as well. So you could be among those unlucky few. I would be super interested actually in hearing your experiences over the last two months or so. Do you own a Pixel Watch or Fitbit? Have you seen changes in the sleep stage tracking and was it good or bad? And was there something wrong or weird with it? Now, if you do end up getting a Pixel Watch, a Fitbit, an Aura Ring, a Whoop Strap maybe, an 8 Sleep Pod, or anything at all on Amazon for that matter, even something as small as toilet paper. You wanna get the best discount possible and at the same time support the channel. There's different affiliate links in the description below and it would be really appreciated if you use them. Now, given that you watched this whole video on the sleep stage tracking of the Pixel Watch, I think you will like this video on Apple's new sleep score or this video on the Whoop Strap.